What is going on guys? I have some amazing news. So right there is my AEM CD5 dash and if you've seen the videos I've done on that and the past couple videos, we have had an issue getting it set up because for whatever reason we kept getting CAN bus errors on our ECU. After some messing around, it actually says stuff. Although one thing that, that is kind of weird is that it's saying right now with the car off, we are having 104 PSI of boost. That's not right. <laughs> That's just not right. There's, oh my God, dude, that would, my turbo, I don't think could produce that much boost. And I know that for a fucking fact, this RB would not handle that. Oh my God, it would, this RB would probably blow up at like 30 pounds of boost. Guys, I am, I'm so happy, like, I've been wanting the dash to work since I got it, and I didn't think I was going to have this many issues, but we did it, we got it working. We're going to mess with the design a little bit, uh, change some of the stuff, we got to see what's going on with that boost setting, um, but yeah, we got it done, that was, that was a huge, huge hurdle, but... We, we did it. Let me show you what I did just in case you have this issue when you're trying to hook up a AEM dash to an ECU master ECU because there's not really a lot of information out there and I think I know what happened with me but not 100% sure so I'll just walk you through it. So this is the ECU software from ECU master. You want, you're going to want to go to CAN serial, go down to CAN and that'll give you this guy. Those are the settings that I have selected and the dash is working. It's not what AEM says. Uh, I'll put on the screen right now what AEM says and this is where I, I think I went wrong. Is that I was going off what they said and it wasn't uh, syncing to the dash. I kept getting right here on the CAN bus. It would turn red and it would say CAN bus error. But our CAN bus is working and it's sending all the information to our dash. So this is the dash design software from AEM. I'll have a link to it in the description. But you're going to want to go up to setup, display, and then this will pop up. And you're going to want to go to the CAN receive tab and port to. And this is what it looks like once you go to import CAN down here. And then you're gonna type in ECU master and then the CAN file will load up and then you download it. But again, the settings are different from what AEM says and then it works and then you wire it up to port two. We're gonna mess with the design a little bit before we start the car up. But if you look on the dash, I'm gonna open the, I'm gonna push the gas pedal down and you can see that the throttle percent He's working and I, I hit the turn signal on, on accident. <laughs> okay guys, so I updated it a little bit and we're gonna start the car and make sure that the sensors are reading correctly with what we are getting on our ECU software. So the AFR seems to be going off of the Lambda and not the actual AFR. So I think I have to change the input for that, but our engine speed is the same, which is good. Uh, also the coolant temp is wrong. I think it's reading in Celsius, because that's 20 and that's 68. So I'll see if I can change that too. Oh, and the oil pressure is reading in bar, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll have to change that as well. All right, so we're gonna see if shift lights work. I have it set to start at 1000 RPM and then every 50 RPM after that. And then once it gets uh, all the lights on, then they'll start flashing. So I set it so low because I want to make sure they work and it's sort of 11 PM, so I don't wanna wake anyone up. So it's starting to warm up now. It's idling better. Uh, it's idling about 100 RPMs low than what it normally idles at, so. We'll give it a little bit, let it warm up. But, oh my God, like, I am so happy that this is working. Cause this shit was not cheap and I was not happy that I could not get it to work. We finally did it, boys. So now there's just like fine tuning that we have to do. I got some research I gotta do. 
and once we see the shift lights, we're gonna call it a night. We'll pick up again tomorrow and go from there and hopefully we can get everything sorted out. We got to see the shift lights. I'm of course gonna adjust them. I don't want them coming on that early, but they work and everything is just everything is just great right now. I'm just in a good mood. But we made a lot of progress today. A lot of a lot of cool shit has happened. So I'm happy. Hopefully we can get more done tomorrow. But we're that much closer to getting ready to dino. What's up guys, it's the next day. We're going to be finishing up programming the dash, hopefully. We, we might not do a couple things, but we're gonna get the main page pretty much done, get all the sensors set up and everything. So we should be good there. And then we'll you know start the car, give it some revs, and, and you know just have a little fun for a little bit. So I ended up not figuring out how to change those over to standard, their metric settings right now. I couldn't figure it out from the forms I went to. The solutions they had did not work. So that's unfortunate, but what's most likely gonna end up happening is that either I figure it out somehow, like how I initially got it to start just by messing with settings, or what I think is more likely to happen is that on Dino Day, the tuner's gonna go through and get everything sorted for me. But yeah, I don't think I mentioned it before. I finally found a tuner that will tune my 240 like that. We're gonna get it on a dyno, we're gonna get everything set up for the car and have the car running just beautifully. The only downside is that he is kind of far. He's in San Diego and I'm near LA, so that's about a two hour drive down to him, which isn't that bad. I mean, this could be worse, you know? Definitely done longer drives for sure. A lot of the shops around me do not do ECU Master. Unfortunately, I was unaware of that when I got it. Uh, the only reason I got the ECU was the price and I was recommended it by Seabass, the guy who helped me start the 240. We spent at least a, a good month and a half, maybe more, of troubleshooting it, going through the base map, trying to figure out what was going on with that. And I was initially gonna go with an AEM ECU, just because I know a lot of people use AEM, and AEM's pretty popular, it seems. AEM and Haltag seem like, like the top two. Uh, so I was initially gonna go with that, but then I was recommended the EMU Black, and don't get me wrong, like I would recommend it too. Like I think it's great ECU for the price. It's pretty cheap for a standalone. Like I saved a lot of money compared to getting a AEM or a Haltech ECU. The only issue I've had with this ECU is finding someone to tune it. Like that's it. Like, everything's pretty straightforward with this ECU as far as trying to set things up and get everything um, set up to where you can start it. Uh, it's just, I'm not a tuner, so it's like a foreign language to me, so I'm starting to get it a little bit, but, you know, at the same time, I took two years of Spanish, and I still don't speak Spanish, so we might have one of those situations on here. Like, I might know enough to not really get by, just, just enough to understand when the car starts talking shit about me. But yeah, the tuner is in San Diego, so we're gonna have a little road trip down there once we get the car ready. Um, I mean, it's pretty much good to go now, really. Um, I might try to do the exhaust beforehand. I don't know if I want to go down there with the hood exit. I might try to fab up the exhaust before then. Um, I still got to get good at TIG welding. Um, I haven't done it in a little bit, but we're, we're going to get back at it. I've just been so focused on getting the car running and then getting it idling good and getting it to rev and then setting the dash up and all this. It's just, things just started happening really fast. And I haven't had time to put in the hours on TIG welding yet, so we're gonna we're gonna get to there as soon as we can. We're actually gonna start slowing down on the 240 just because there's not a lot left. There really isn't. We're we're pretty much there. Once I get the alternator issue figured out, which I don't know if I've mentioned yet, but my alternator's not charging the battery, so we gotta look into that. I got some parts coming in tomorrow, so hopefully we can get that sorted. Once we get the alternator charging the battery, we're gonna take this car out. We're gonna drive it because I can rev to 4,500. I can most likely rev higher. I just haven't yet just because it's fucking loud. <laughs> so once we get the battery charging it, we're gonna go around the neighborhood, make sure everything's good. I've already gone through the gears with the car on jack stands and everything was good. So we know that our clutch works. For some reason, our clutch is super soft, 
but I've bled it so much. Like, I've bled it so much, it's ridiculous. And it hasn't changed the pedal feel, so I'm wondering if maybe the pressure plate I have is super soft or what, but I don't know, everything seems to be good. It engages right around the middle, um, so I mean, I guess it's good. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna end up doing it for this video. Unfortunately, we couldn't get more done with the dash, but that's just because I don't know what I'm doing. So if I knew what I was doing, we would be much further ahead in this build, but I don't know what I'm doing. So just trying to figure things out as I go and that usually takes a lot longer than if you already know what to do. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I really mean it when I say that, just thank you for watching any of the videos. Like it, it really means a lot. We've, we've grown quite a bit since the start of the year. I think we're up like 100 subscribers or something like that. We're starting to get consistently around 100 views video which don't get me wrong that's not a lot but at the same time that's you gotta start somewhere and 2019 is gonna be fucking awesome so please stay tuned for all that we got a bunch of fun shit planned it's all coming down to getting the car driving though so we're, we're kind of behind schedule from where i wanted to be but it is what it is and leave a like if you did comment down below and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.